Hi, I am going to go ahead and continue reading from our story, uh, The Boxcar Children. And remember that it is the first book in this series, and it's written by Gertrude Chandler Warner. And we're on chapter three, and the name of this chapter is A New Home in the Woods. At last, Jessie opened her eyes. It was morning, but the sun was covered by clouds. She sat up and looked all around her, and then she looked at the sky. It seemed like night, for it was very dark. Suddenly, it began to thunder, and she saw that it was really going to rain. What shall we do? Where should we go? thought Jessie. The wind was blowing more and more clouds across the sky, and the lightning was very near. She walked a little way into the woods, looking for a place to go out of the rain. Where shall we go, she thought again. Then she saw something ahead of her in the woods. It was an old boxcar. Now, a boxcar is like a part of a train. It says, what a good house that will be in the rain, she thought. She ran over to the boxcar. There was no engine, and the track was old and rusty. It was covered with grass and bushes because it had not been used for a long time. It is a boxcar, Jessie said. We can get into it and stay until it stops raining. She ran back as fast as she could to the other children. The sky was black and the wind was blowing very hard. Hurry, hurry, cried Jessie. I have found a good place. Hurry as fast as you can. Henry took Benny's hand, and they all ran through the woods after Jessie. It's beginning to rain, cried Henry. We'll soon be there, Jessie shouted back. It is not far. When we get there, you must help me open the door. It is heavy. The stump of a big tree stood under the door of the boxcar and was just right for a step. Jessie and Henry jumped up on the old dead stump and rolled back the heavy door of the car. Henry looked in. There is nothing in here, he said. Come, Benny, we'll help you up. Violet went in next, and last of all, Jessie and Henry climbed in. They were just in time. How the wind did blow. They rolled the door shut, and then it really began to rain. Oh, how it did rain. It just rained and rained. The children could hear it on the top of the boxcar, but no rain came in. What a good place this is, said Violet. It is like a warm little house with one room. After a while, the rain and lightning and thunder stopped, and the wind did not blow so hard. Then Henry opened the door and looked out. All the children looked out into the woods. The sun was shining, but some water still fell from the trees. In front of the boxcar, a little pretty brook ran over the rocks with a waterfall in it. So think in your head, what do you think a brook is? We've talked about that word before. And so if you think about it, what is it? So it's like a stream, isn't it? It's not, it's not like a river. It's not as uh, big as that, but it's a little bit littler than that. What a beautiful place, said Violet. Henry, cried Jessie, let's live here. Live here? asked Henry. Yes, why not? said Jessie. This boxcar is a fine little house. It is dry and warm in the rain. We could wash on the in the brook, said Violet. Please, Henry, begged Jessie. We could have the nicest little home here, and we could find some dishes and make four beds and a table and maybe chairs. No, said Benny. I don't want to live here, Jessie. Oh, dear. Why not, Benny? asked Jessie. I'm afraid the engine will come and take us away, answered Benny. Henry and Jessie laughed. Oh, no, Benny, said Henry. The engine will never take this car away. It is an old, old car, and grass and bushes are growing all over the track. Then doesn't the engine use this track anymore? asked Benny. No, indeed, said Henry. He was beginning to want to live in the boxcar, too. We'll stay here today anyway. Then can I have my dinner here, asked Benny. 
Yes, you shall have dinner here, said Henry. So Jesse took out the last loaf of bread and cut it into four pieces, but it was very dry. Benny ate the bread, but soon be he began to cry. I want some milk too, Jesse, he begged. We ought to have milk, said Henry. I'll go to the next town and get some. But Henry did not want to start. He looked to see how much money he had. Then he stood thinking. At last he said, I don't want to leave you girls alone. Oh, said Jesse, we'll be all right, Henry. We'll have a surprise for you when you come back. You just wait and see. Goodbye, Henry, said Benny. So Henry walked off through the woods. When he had gone, Jesse said, now children, what do you think we are going to do? What do you think I saw over in the woods? I saw some blueberries. Oh, oh, cried Benny. I know what blueberries are. Can we have blueberries and milk, Jesse? Yes, Jesse was beginning. But suddenly she stopped. She heard a noise. Crack, crack, crack. Something was in the woods. The next chapter is Henry has two surprises. So we'll have to find out what happens next.